I'm Faith Jones, I'm 18, I'm one of the Young Food Ambassadors, um, I'm from Wales. We're currently in York with the Food Foundation and earlier on I had the chance to meet with Rachel Muscal, the MP for York Central, and interview her discussing uh, child poverty, children's health and what the plans are for the future to make improvements. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. Um, so, first question is, uh, what is the Labour Party uh, planning to do uh, when it comes to the child food poverty and uh, solving these issues? Well, the Labour Party exists in order to address issues of inequality and poverty. We've got 4.3 million children living in poverty in our country, a million in destitution, and addressing food poverty is part of that. But we believe that if your household income is sufficient, then people shouldn't be in food poverty. So, there are a number of things that we pledged at the election including ensuring that every child starts the school day with a free breakfast having breakfast clubs and um, that will make a, a real difference so children can concentrate better and there's a quality for all children out of that but obviously um, we need to look at free school meals um, and that's a campaign that we're running here in the city of York and also obviously looking at that bigger issue around um, people's wages, people's incomes through other means and to ensure that no child is left without um, because we know that if you have economic inequality and food inequality then also you've got health inequality and that will mm. impact ultimately how long you can live and the quality of your life as well so it's really important to address all of these issues. Yeah, so it's amazing that it's um, you know, being seen as a prioritised issue. Um, so we're, another question is, uh, how are you going to address the food poverty issue like, with young people? Well, first of all, that provision I've talked about, but also we're setting up a task force in the Labour Party to address um, inequality and to, in specifically, child poverty and as part of that food has got to be a major topic but I'm dependent on our food ambassadors <laughs> to make a noise and to make submissions to ensure that it is top of the agenda so um, I think we work together on this and I think the fact that young people are really um, invested in looking at food poverty and what to do about it and how to find those solutions I think that's the pressure that government needs um, in order to progress and have a healthy um, food agenda so I'm, I'm kind of looking to you really about what you're going to do as well. Yeah, well, we've got all young food ambassadors, all of us, you know, making making as much noise as we can about it, trying to get it top of the list. Um, so we just, uh, how will are you going to make sure that all of the young people's opinions actually heard by you know everyone in power? Well. Um I obviously am I'm going out across my own constituency here in York, um, talking to residents. So we're knocking on doors, got street stalls planned and a petition to look at issues around child poverty in particular, but obviously food is part of the equation there. Um, and then obviously we can take that down to Parliament. But if young people make a representation to myself around food specifically, then I will certainly raise that with ministers. Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. It's been great meeting you today. It's been lovely meeting you.